So here are the top five SEO or search engine optimization tips for your Facebook page. First off, claim your Facebook vanity URL. I taught you how to do this at the end of the last video, but you would be surprised how many clients I've worked for that have 1,000, 2,000 plus Facebook page likes, but they still haven't claimed their domain. So by this, I mean the facebook.com slash your chosen name. So you do this because URLs are heavily weighted by search engine algorithms. And by this, I mean, what is your keyword? What is your brand name? That's what the Google search cares about. Does Google search care about the facebook.com slash number, 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 the thing that you're given initially as a Facebook page? No, they want the facebook.com slash Nike. There's the brand, there's the clout, there's the keyword people are searching for in Google search, right? So you wanna do the same thing for your brand. So this leads me into the number two tip. Choose the best name for your Facebook fan page. Now obviously this seems like a no-brainer, but remember the power of keywords. And now I don't want you to be tempted and stuff your fan page name with keywords. Like this example, Bob's Bakery, Muffins, Bagels, Cookies, Breads, Catering. That's just going to be spammy. Nobody's going to like that page. Yes, you have keywords. But again, like I said earlier, Google frowns on when you don't have good content and just keyword stuffed titles, content, descriptions. So it's a fine line. I like to use a brand name and at least one keyword. So a really good example is Tom's Shoes. So it's facebook.com slash Tom's Shoes. It's a highly searched brand and a highly searched keyword. Put them together, that's a great domain. The number three SEO tip, use keywords in strategic locations on your fan page. So just like traditional websites, keyword optimization is fundamental for on-site SEO. So the key areas to focus on for your fan page, your Facebook page, are using keywords in the about section, your mission statement, your company description, that's the long description, and your actual fan page title. So these are areas you can plant those keywords into. Again, don't stuff them. Use them sparingly, one in the title, two in the short description, five in the long description, one or two in the mission statement. These are great areas to plant those keywords and therefore get crawled by Google search engine and people searching those keywords will find your Facebook page. Number four, backlink to your fan page when you can on other channels. So backlinks are inbound links from other websites. So think about it, you're getting social cloud because other people are sharing your website on other websites around the web. So therefore you're authoritative in the eyes of Google search. So I like to link where it's appropriate Obviously post a link to your Facebook page from your website, from your Twitter profile, from your blog. These are all great places to start. Then hopefully as you grow and you're sharing product and post and different content, people will organically share links or backlinks to your Facebook page. And the fifth SEO tip is to optimize your Facebook fan page status updates. So if you're posting a video, if you're posting a photo, if you're posting an event, Remember, the first 18 characters in that write something box, your status post box, serve as your SEO title. So that's what's going to get crawled by Google. That's what's going to show up in Google searches. So great, a great place to plant two or three keywords, right? Make it relevant, make it a sentence that people can read and make sense in Google search. Another very important tip, in every status update I do, I include a link to my website. So no matter what the post is about, I could be talking about a promotion, some cool video I saw, here's a photo I took, but always end with a backlink to my website. So why is that, you say? Think of it, every time someone shares this post, someone may share it on their blog, someone may share it on another website, what is that creating? It's creating a backlink. It's creating authority for you as a website because other people are directing their friends and their following to your website. They created a backlink to your website by sharing this post. So while someone may have just loved the cuddly animal video you posted, they really created a backlink for you by sharing it because you included your link in that original post. 